Hi guys, welcome back to Jungle Flowers Canada. My name is Gráinne and thanks for joining me. Guys, I hadn't actually planned on doing a video today, but a lot of things happened which have actually led to me doing this video today. So partly because I'm doing an unboxing. I wanted to do an unboxing of this today because the lead up to it is just ridiculous. So this was purchased from Plant Collective and it was sent to Canada Post on the 27th of October and it was supposed to arrive to me on Friday the 30th. Nothing happened. Um, every time I checked the tracking, it just said it was held in Mississauga, held in Mississauga. I reached out to Plant Collective yesterday, I believe it was, or the day before, and they said that it was due to be delivered today. Now, it went to my mailbox. It didn't even come to the door. And this is expedited parcel post. So usually they come and deliver to the door, but they didn't. And I noticed that's the second time Canada Post has done that. And luckily today was a beautiful day and it isn't cold. Had it been cold, there was no hope. Not that I'm holding out too much hope for it anyway, but there certainly would have been no hope if it had been a cold day. So let's open it. I did bring in a knife to open it and I don't know what I did with the knife. Oh, here it is. So let's open it guys and see what condition it's in. Okay, so I, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I know what it is, but I just wanna see how it looks first and um, see if it's identifiable as a plant even, because how long is that now that it's been in the mail? Over a week. Okay. So it is, live moss it's live spanish moss now i actually don't know how it's supposed to feel it's incredibly dry i want to hang it from my greenhouse and it was buy one get one free so there are the two of them i would be inclined to say they are dead but possibly with some water, they may revive. I just really love the look of this. I have never seen it in reality, but I just, I thought it would be really pretty to hang from the roof of my greenhouse. So anyway, that was the first part of my video. But guys, this is a nice segue into the next part of my video. Shipping in Canada. I no longer have faith. You know how I feel about Canada Post, guys, but like this has just solidified my feelings on them. Um, you know, yes, we are in the middle of COVID, and but things by now should have improved. In fact, when I asked at the uh, Shoppers Drug Mart when I sent a parcel a couple of weeks ago, she said, no, we're pretty much back on track. And um, they just won't guarantee the delivery, but we're pretty much back on track. So this should have been a two day delivery and it has taken uh, seven to eight days. I'm not sure exactly how um, how many days in total. I have to figure the math out there. So I actually was sending a plant to a lady t today and um, we had been communicating and I told her like I just do not trust Canada Post which was why I don't like shipping and I had said I really was reluctant to ship but she had suggested I try FedEx. She said if you um, she said I have an account with them she said I can look into the price. So I said you know you know what I'll, I'll have a look I'll I'll sign up with FedEx. So that's what I did. So there's a FedEx drop-off center just around the corner from me. So for FedEx to send the box, it went out today and she'll have it guaranteed by end of day tomorrow was 18.50, let's say. With tax, it came to $21 and a couple of cent. Now I live in the GTA and it was actually going to Sarnia. So I thought that was a really good deal. And the guarantee, they do guarantee that it will be there tomorrow. So now that I've opened the FedEx account, I think going forward, if I am mailing plants, Leroy is having is scratching his bed and shaking his collar. Sorry about that. So if I am going to mail plants to people again, I am just I'm just bypassing Canada Post. I'm done with them. I have lost so much money and I have lost so many plants relying on them, and they just they're not reliable and they can get away with it. So, um, and th this um, insurance that you're supposed to get, uh, good luck with that. You can never get any money back on your plants. Just too ma I've had just too many bad incidences with them. And it, you know, as I say, it solidifies my feeling on it. So I am going to try FedEx. 
Um, I know UPS is out there. I don't know what kind of prices you'd get from UPS, but I'm actually going to do some research and try and find the best prices. So this segues nicely into another thing I wanted to speak about, and that are heat packs. So I have purchased 72 hour, yes, 72 hour heat packs, and there are now 96 hour heat packs, which are fantastic. And there's also 60 hour heat packs. Now I actually ordered a plant from somebody and um, it didn't go very well, let's put it that way. And um, I had asked her to put a heat pack into the box and she told me that the heat pack was $10. So I was like, that's crazy. Nobody should be paying $10 for a heat pack. I believe these were, um, I would say under $5 with tax each. This one possibly slightly over $5, but certainly no more than that. Guys, I firmly believe that sellers should not be marking up the price of heat packs. Certainly, cover your shipping costs if you have incurred shipping costs. You know, if you have to get in your car and drive, you know, for many, many miles, which I actually did today, you know, add a, you know, add a couple of cents on, round them up to $5. But you should not be making a lot of money on these heat packs. Without these heat packs, you wouldn't be getting a sale and also without these heat packs the plants would not arrive alive. So I just, I was a little incensed by $10. I thought okay that's a little expensive and you know I, I really feel that we shouldn't be marking up something that's essential to our shipping for the winter. We're all trying to figure out ways to ship and plants are expensive enough so that's just my opinion guys and I was you know I, I was really put off by this yesterday um, so I just wanted to put that out there to you. So I'm going to put the name of the company that I bought these heat packs off of. They're called First Aid Zone and they're in Markham, Ontario. They do deliver. Now, shipping is expensive, guys. But I spoke to the owner today, one of the owners today, and he said that he did ship, I think it was 100 or 120 of them to somebody and it cost $41. But that's, so that's really adding maybe like 40 cents to each heat pack which is not, you know, it's not the end of the world. So if you wanted to, you know, order a lot of them to keep them. And the thing is they last, right? So you could just buy, like buy a hundred of them, keep them in your house, and then you can just use them for a couple of years. I don't believe there's an expiry date on them. Let me just double check. Um, well, there is an expiry date on them. So these are good till 23, okay, 2023. I have seen some on, you know, Etsy, a place like that for like five, five, you know, five-ish dollars. But if you've got to pay shipping on top of that, why not go to the source and see what kind of deal you can get on them? So that's just something I wanted to throw out there to people. I just think it's gone crazy, guys. I love plants so much and I love to see the joy it brings to somebody when I send them a plant. I don't want to be adding extra expense to them. So I just wanted to mention that. And I think if you are being charged $10 for a heat pack, I would, I would certainly reconsider. I would have reconsidered, only I had paid for the plant and she refused to give me a refund. So um, that's how, you know, this, I actually ended up driving down and getting the plant just on principle. But, um, I, you know, that was just an experience I had yesterday and it was very, very off-putting. So enough of that, guys. I am not giving that situation any more of my energy. I have moved on. <laughs> okay, the last part of my video. What new plants have I bought? Well, I have got a lot of new plants, guys, and I know you've seen some of them in my different videos where I was tidying up my basement and when I did my IKEA greenhouse. So I did get a new plant today and I got one yesterday and I also got one in a trade. So I thought I'd just show you a couple of new plants. They're all pretty much, you know, well, no, they're not all in the same family, but um, four of them are in the same family. So I'll start with what I got today. So guys, I had to go to Vandermeer Nurseries today to get sphagnum moss because I hadn't got any left. And while I was there, I decided to take a walk around. Now I knew they'd had the black velvet and um, what's the other one that I have it here now and I can't think of the name of it. Um, I think it's called the black dragon, but there is another name for it. I'll put it up on the screen. So I, I, had, I saw that they had them in stock. I assumed they'd be gone by now. But anyway, I took a drive down to get the sphagnum moss and I walked around and look what I got. An Alocasia Frydeck. Isn't this stunning? Every time there was a notification that they had it, I seemed to not be able to go there and I missed it every time. So I was so excited today when I got there. 
to see that they had it and you can see it has a couple of beautiful leaves that there's just the baby ones but this is the newest leaf and I'm so excited I'm actually really loving alocasias now I, I've really taken a liking to them so I just wanted to show that to you today so that was uh, I believe 34.99 yeah 34.99 but guys it's a lovely size and it was definitely one of my wish list plants. I just, you know what, you could just sit and pet these all day. These leaves, they're so gorgeous. Okay, the one I got yesterday is the, I believe, the Black Dragon. Now, they do have these also in Vandermeers. I saw them today when I was there. And um, it's probably not one of my favorites, guys. But I've bought it now, and you know what? I'm going to suck it up. <laughs> and uh, I, it will join my plant community and I will not take the experience out on this poor baby because I love plants and I wouldn't do that to it. But anyway, that is my black dragon, I believe it's called. And then we have this beauty, which I hilariously lined up outside Kim's Nature for, from the crack of dawn, I beat everybody by like a half an hour there was like five cars when they actually opened but i do love it and i can tell you guys today i was in vandermeers and they still have a few and i actually saw on facebook that some people have been picking these up believe it or not in canadian tire so um my canadian tire doesn't carry the house plants they carry a few succulents and stuff but they really don't have a great selection so i don't have them out here but i know there have been some canadian tires that have that are carrying these and they're also carrying this in fact that's where this came from from a canadian tire this in canadian tire i believe was 34.99 guys now i paid 70 dollars for this and vandermeers have it for 60. so just be prepared guys we know we're going to see them up on marketplace the ones that were bought in canadian tire and they're going to be like 70 80 dollars who knows what they're going to be for which I just, I just, it saddens me so much when people do that. But anyway, we, we've no control over it. I think we've talked about this before. But anyway, um, this is a beauty. I love this one also. I also bought this. So this is the Silver Dragon. Now I saw, that's just a new leaf. You can see how pretty it is. These leaves are damaged. Um, they were, they, it was a little over water. I got this from He-Man's in London, Ontario, and Plant Runs delivered it to me. It was a fantastic experience. Plant Runs are amazing, He-Mans are amazing, and I was really happy with the plant, but you can see that there it was actually overwatered. So I did switch out the soil, and the edges became very wet, and you can see they've gone all crispy now. But my new leaf has come out. Now I saw a guy, I can't, I don't even remember his name, I believe it was on House Plant Lovers of Ontario, that Facebook page, and he had one of these, and it was huge, and I wrote to him and asked him where he got it. It was just so incredible. And he had bought his in Kim's Nature. Now I think in Kim's Nature they were probably $40. They were nothing like they are now. But you know what, I just think it's, I, when I, once I saw his, I had to have this plant. His was so incredibly beautiful. When I saw he -Man's had it, I said, you know what, I'm just going to do it. So um, a plant friend of mine went in with me and we, we shared the cost of plant runs and we both got one of these plants. So guys, this is one that I'm probably most excited about. This is a Philodendron Brantianum. Now I had seen this on Facebook and probably on YouTube and I thought, wow, I have to have this plant. It is just gorgeous. So we have a fantastic plant group here in our region, the Durham Region Plant Swap. And I put a, um, a post up saying, where can I get one of these? If anybody has one, let me know. And Paula, one of the ladies on, I think she might actually be the administrator for the group, uh, messaged me and said I have one so we actually did a plant swap so you will have seen in my other videos that I brought lots of plants in from Thailand so we did a plant swap for this and I am so excited now it's very small it has a long way to go before it's established but it's in my IKEA greenhouse which has lovely humidity it's sitting in sphagnum moss so it's very happy I actually need to water it it's dry again and overall I'm, I was just delighted to get it I just think it is so incredibly pretty so two more plants. These are ones I brought in from Thailand, which I didn't really showcase at all. And I want to show them to you. Sorry guys, I'm trying to focus this. Isn't this just spectacular? This is a Sansevieria Cleopatra. Now guys, they were both so similar. I wasn't sure which was which, but 
by um, methods of elimination, I believe this is the Cleopatra. Isn't she gorgeous? I am so excited to have this plant in my collection. I do love my Sansevierias. And look at the, the beautiful markings on it. It's very hard. Um, not like the snake plant. But, oh my gosh, couldn't you look at that all day? It is so beautiful. This is the Sansevieria Kirky Blue. Let's focus there. Now you can see it's it's very beautiful also. They're, they're very, very close. Um, it was hard for me to get to figure out which was which. There we go. So you can see the difference there, guys. When they're side by side, it's easier to see the difference. So this one here on this one here is the Cleopatra and this one here is the Kirky Blue. Aren't they gorgeous? I really, really love these plants. So I was so excited to get them. Every time I got a shipment from Thailand, I looked at them and I never ordered them. And in the end, I just went, you know what, I'm going to get them. They're beautiful. We were coming to the end of the season to be able to ship because we know now it's too cold. We can't take a chance, especially with expensive plants. So I decided I would take the opportunity and I would order them. That's all I have for you today. If anybody has any advice on my moss, I would really appreciate it. Guys, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, that would be incredible. If you could subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have any questions or comments, please don't forget to ask below. You guys have a wonderful day. Take care.